about three weeks into the process, uh, we actually decided to go to the LGBT center, which is about a block away from this intersection. Uh, it's a service center that's wonderful in what they do. They service youth at risk, et cetera. And we, um, in their courtyard, I saw Maya Taylor hanging out with uh, some friends of hers. And, you know, she has this aura, this, the it quality, something that just drew me in. I, I had to speak with her. And we, we approached Maya and we, we, uh, we, we connected right away. Maya just showed full enthusiasm, you know, being an aspiring entertainer herself. And uh, we exchanged information. Do you want to talk about Yeah, Maya, talk about, talk about that approach. Talk about being approached by this dude who wants to make a movie uh, uh, about the streets. Well, I didn't think that it was weird at all. <laughs> no, no, he was actually very sweet and he stated exactly what he was looking for and he wanted to know more about the area. And I had been in the area for quite some time, um, pretty much trying to get my life together because, like he said, um, basically the center is right there and they kind of help with a lot of the youth. And me moving out away from my family when I was 18 to Los Angeles, it kind of tied me up into that area so I could see a lot of everything that was going on. And we talked about it and all the things that I've seen and all the stories that I know and decided to make a movie. So you, you were a full collaborator, essentially. Did you feel like yes. you had a hand in the script and everything in the days where you're shooting, you're sort of recreating what they're telling you to say or what's on the page? Well, in the beginning, there was definitely a script. <laughs> we, we used a lot of the script and then a lot of it that we didn't. <laughs> it, it was actually a script that was developed from all the anecdotes and stories that they yeah. had told us. And there was this one moment, I should go back because the other lead is Katana Kiki Rodriguez. Yeah. Maya introduced us to Kiki. It was one day that we were sitting in Jack in the Box talking and Kiki comes in and sits down across the booth from us, across the table from us at the booth. And I just saw the two of them together and I thought, dynamic duo right there. So we're gonna write two characters for these actresses to play. And it was Kiki who eventually came up with the woman scorned idea, which became our A plot. And then we wrote this treatment, we passed it by the girls for their approval, and then from there it was a very organic sort of workshopping, and we continued to work together on, on the script all the way through post-production. I mean, it was a, we were writing along the whole way, finding this film. 